an audience this big before. <laughs> Makes me ask myself, what's the big attraction? <laughs> Is it this? Real eagle feathers. Beautiful, isn't it? What is this? Ojibwe beadwork from Bear Island, Lake Tamagami. And this. Gift from the chief of the Sioux peoples. Oh, this. I guess that's about as far as I can go. <laughs> Is it me? I don't think so. I'm not entitled to wear this war bonnet. I'm not a hero or a prophet. Like most of us, I've done what I've had to do to get by. The only thing that gives me the courage to stand before you tonight is the knowledge, the certainty, that what I'm saying is crucial to our survival. We're not the lords of this earth. We're its children. We lie in the lap of creation, in the strong arms of a spirit greater than our own. You know I'm going to say protect the beaver. You know I'm going to say stop cutting down the forests. You know I'm going to say the money you get isn't worth the price you pay. But here's some more. If we can say that there are some things that are not for sale, that there are some things that belong to all of us and to future generations, then maybe other people will hear us and begin to say it too. And someday there'll be enough of us and we'll believe that it can be done, that we can change the world. So why don't we start in our own country, in Canada, here, tonight? He never spoke in public again. That night, when we watched Archie strip away all pretense of being an Indian, I knew that what he was saying was far more important than who he really was. Afterwards, he slipped silently into the night and went back to his remote cabin on Lake Ajuan. He died there, suddenly of pneumonia, two years later, in April 1938. In recognition of what Archie was trying to achieve, the North Bay Nugget agreed to hold my story while he lived. They ran it the day after he died, and it made front page all over the world. Pony never stopped campaigning against trapping, and slowly, because of what she and Archie did, there were laws passed to protect the beaver, and they returned to the lakes and streams of Canada. But once his true identity was revealed, Archie's early warning about the natural world, about keeping it safe for future generations, was quickly dismissed, and then conveniently forgotten. Only many years later, 
when the truth could no longer be ignored did he come to be seen as a man ahead of his time.